I want to try E85 on your stage one tune, which I'm currently running on 93. Can you explain the proper order sequence of emptying the 93 tank relative to filling E85 and flashing the new file? So we have, uh, I think, a number of clipouts uh, related to this. Yeah, this should be this should be plenty, but we'll just talk about it real yep. quick. You, you want to get an eth ethanol content analyzer in the car. Um, there's various options that involve installing a, an ethanol content sensor in your fuel line, which is pretty easy to do. Um, and then you can either get a gauge in the car or there's like Bluetooth apps. Mm -hmm. This is this is critical because you you don't want to guess at whether you have, have ethanol in your fuel lines, or whether it's made it to the fuel injectors. And keep in mind, you could have a tank full of E85 and fuel lines filled with 93. And that doesn't mean that, you know, you can run your E85 tune or that your motor is getting E85. You know, it could take 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes. You don't know, right? So you just find out by using an ethanol content analyst. Typically, you want to run your tank down close to empty, uh, although, you, you know, it doesn't have to be empty, but you could have a, you know, some, some, a gallon as, or two as left empty in there. is reasonable to get, yeah. for sure. And then uh, simply fill your tank with E85 and... Wait until you see the ethanol contents go above, you know, about E60 to E65. Yep. Around here, we typically see it settle in around E80, and that's that's with with a you know uh, Full basically an empty tank, empty tank of, of empty tank of 91 and a full tank of 85. And of course, you know, on our cars, we'll just keep running 85. You know, tank after tank after tank. There's essentially no gasoline left in it. Yep. And, you know, we see about E80, and that's around here at the station we use. But our tunes are designed to function on the E85 file as long as your content's above about E60 to E65. Uh, so that, that, that's good news. You don't have to stress out about being right at E85. You probably won't ever have E85 in your tank. Uh, you might. I've seen I've seen only a few that have been higher than E80. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you could have E90. Yeah, you know, there's something could happen. Pretty but... high. Typically, what we see is, is the content is lower than E85, and that's okay. And you'll see on the pump, too, it'll say, like, minimum content of, like, E70 or E60 yeah. on the pump. I think, if you you know, as long as you're seeing E70 to E85, you're golden. Um, and I, actually, having slightly less ethanol is a good thing because it means your fuel system won't be quite as stressed. Um, but anyways, that's it. So if you have any, any further questions, let us know. Yeah, and feel free to, to reference our – we've got a whole uh, – 034 Motorsport Uncut channel, which is all cuts yeah. of videos. Um, and this is, I, I'm sure this is in, uh, on best, best practice to uh, us. Hmm. The breast, breast videos are on our channel, the milk channel.